Here is Danny and today. Jeff Braddock from EA has just confirmed that tomorrow, January 29, we will get a new patch for Battlefield 5. He has also posted the patch notes, so I grabbed some of the most interesting ones. Daiso finally adds the Stug 4 and changed some stuff on the practice range, like testing on gadgets, skeet shooting, grenade practice and learning how bullet drop works. They have also added stars based on performance in the minigame modes. No warjet if you can actually customize your weapon though. Panzerstorm also got some nice changes too. The F flag for example got more buildings and is now 4 times bigger. They also added an oak alley along the roads between G and D to make it easier for infantry to navigate. There's also many more ditches and mounds along the edges of fields and better distributed cover based on data. There are of course also more general fixes to the gameplay like improved footstep sounds based on range and surface. Snow is of course softer than running on stone. There's also big bipod detection improvements which should help out MMGs. So as a result we see even more MMG campers. You cannot go prone anymore if there is not enough space in that area. Vaulting also got some love and fixes, which is the same for the ledge crap animation and the detection of it. Enemy players will make less sharp turns in their animation, which should lead to better tracking of the enemy. The kill cam got some fixes in its transition, the Stuka got its bomber side back, and a super important addition where the universal gun carrier got a horn, so beep away. The anti-air should on paper behave more consistent. And you can finally cancel grenade throws, probably for the throwing knife as well. The legendary invisible magazine on some guns should reappear again. Mines also have their gravity changed, so they will stop floating. The V1 is finally removed from Fjell domination. Dice also finally fixed the bug where players could get inside the outside of the hangar on aerodrome. I know it's a weird sentence, but it's true. Also, the deploy point is no longer available bug, should be Kohn Banau, finally. The bushes got a nerf and are no longer bulletproof. Players can now assign a button to make screenshots, no idea if it works like that on the consoles however. We can also finally resize and move the network graph. There is some UI fixes for the end of the round screen where it would show stuff that has been completed ages ago. PC got a fix for joining players who are in a squad and you should be able to join in the queue. Flagfire will be happy with this one because the bayonet finally has its icon. And as last, the text chat on console should work again. So that is a decent list of fixes, there is sadly still no word on a level increase sadly. But that is all I got for now, this was Danny and I see you on the battlefield.